Gray, always on his toes. I did not see that one coming. What's going on? Have a seat, Mr. Gray. All will be answered. All will be revealed. All can be taken away. Are you some kind of like hologram or something? No, I'm only joking with you. Who says you can't have a bit of fun with your dead client's morning brother? Ethics, probably. So, how are you, Mr. Gray? Quite frankly, I'm more than a bit confused. My brother just threw himself off of a casino, and then he and then his body just vanished, and 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 then he gave me a fifty grand and a note to see a creative accountant in this storage unit. What type of accountant works in a storage unit? So yeah, I'm confused. I'm freaked out, and, and I want answers. He called me creative. Always a flirt, that man. What's wrong with you, lady? Is this like some kind of assisted suicide? Are you his mistress or something? Also, why am I here? Is this witness protection or something? This is going to be quite the job. What job? Look, I don't want to do with whatever illegal crap is going on here. I assure you, you will not get in trouble for anything you discuss or execute. Because it's not illegal? Right. I'm convinced. Perfect. Your father, as you know, was killed by a stray bullet in an Angolan takedown of enemy combatants. What you don't know is that that stray bullet wasn't a stray at all. See, your brother had been bringing intel back to the U.S. government. Unfortunately, word of that got back to Angola, and in an attempt to get back at your brother, your father was executed. For months, your brother spent all of his time clearing his name, but he couldn't bring back his father. He couldn't live with himself, so he committed suicide. No, he didn't. Don't play games with me. I saw him jump. There's no way he survived. Because you did. I'm sorry? That's where I come in. Zachary, you don't have very much going for you. Sure I do. I have a girlfriend, a nice home. Don't lie to me, Zachary. You have an allergy to peanuts and garbanzo beans. You don't have a girlfriend, and you have a mole on your right ass cheek that both you and your doctor agree looks a little bit like Mississippi. How did you know that? That is not the issue at the moment. I'll continue, and you can stop me when you inevitably have more questions. May I continue? I... Perfect! As I mentioned, you committed suicide. But I didn't! Jeremy Gray is a very thorough man. He is also a very important man. His suicide would raise countless red flags and would likely cause his family a great deal of trouble. So, together, a number of those closest to him conceived a way to best respect his wishes. The first wish was to keep his brothers and his mother out of harm's way. His second wish was to die. So he is dead. See, that's where the trouble comes in. If he committed suicide, there would be a thorough government investigation into his life and from that his family. So he couldn't commit suicide. That's why there wasn't any blood. He had fat stacks of cash to pad his fall. Unfortunately, that was not the path he took. This brings me to his third wish. Your brother thinks quite differently than most people you or I know. He is very much about the individual. Your brother's third wish was to better the life of one person. His wealth could not take his mind off of what he did to his father. So you're gonna find some way to wire all his money to me? What, w without taxes? No. You are going to become Jeremy Gray. Ha! You are. I'll go to Chase. I'll, 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 I'll ask them to withdraw 18 million dollars, right? Give them the good old razzle dazzle. Cut my hair. Sure, I, I, I could totally do that. You misunderstand me, Jeremy. You will live the rest of your life as Jeremy. You will cut your hair. You will go to his bank. And you will sleep with his wife, and you will sleep with me. Of course, you're not quite my type, but you know who is? Jeremy. You. Do you understand me, Zachary? Uh, I, uh... First mistake, don't respond to Zachary. Don't let it slip. I am Zachary Gray, and I love beer. And until last night, I have not seen $137 in the same place at the same time. I can't be Jeremy. Jeremy couldn't even be Jeremy. Don't worry, Jeremy. The team is on your side. You've been picked for a very good reason. All will be answered. All will be revealed. So? Jeremy? I guess I don't have that much of a choice. So where do we begin? Welcome back, Jeremy.